Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Spooky Sunday video. This is the first Spooky Sunday video filmed in my apartment. In today's video I have heard you all out, I know you want more S Walker videos, you know I'm not gonna say the name or the W version of the name or any other version of the name that exists, I'm not gonna say it. We'll call them blah blahs or S Walkers. I heard you all out, I know you wanted more S Walker videos. So I obviously did the story time one where you all sent me your story times about them in and I've got some more TikToks on them and when I say these videos are insane there's one video that literally blows my mind I can't wait to show you these videos I am shook and I can't wait to have conversations with you about them because phew, madness so without further ado let's get on into today's video and I hope you all like it okay so I have my phone here it's on charge because it's low-key about to die but this is the first S walk video Okay, I turned the volume off that just in case the video got copyrighted, but I feel like that's one that we've seen a lot. I feel like I've seen that before somewhere. I've definitely seen a screenshot of that before. I feel like it's probably one of the most famous S Walker videos. What do you think? Do you think it's an S Walker or do you think it's someone playing a prank and someone just walking strange? Because even though it's a weird way to walk, I know that people can do it and they kind of look human like in that video then again when you think about s walkers they can take form of humans so maybe it was a human and it was changing back into an s walker and that's why it still looks human i don't know you have to let me know what you think this next video is the video that i was on about at the beginning that is so insane there's two parts and it freaks me out so much when i watch it i think this is probably one of the best s walker videos that i've ever come across on the internet at all let alone tiktok so i'm excited to show you this one let's get into it and watch it this is the scariest video I've ever seen. I'm not kidding. I don't know if it's real or fake. If it's real, I want to cry. Okay, I'll show you part two and then we'll talk about it. Every time I see it, I get goose. I feel so weird right now. I feel so weird right now. Ooh. Listen, I know there's gonna be people out there that are gonna be like, oh, it's just a guy and his friend playing a prank. I get it, okay? But remember, S walkers can look like humans. And the way that he was walking or it was walking or whatever, like it just didn't, it's just not, I don't know. It just, I feel like it's not a human. And if you hear on the, I think it was may have been the last bit of part one the way they scream it almost started to sound distorted as if the human voice was disappearing and then the monster voice was coming through i'm gonna see if i can find that bit again and just listen really closely okay did you hear it it almost sounded distorted like it wasn't human anymore and the s walker was coming through i just can't explain why I believe that video so much but I just really really do and obviously if there's anybody out there that knows more about S walkers please comment down below and let me know what you think about it because I am shook. I have shivers all the way down my spine right now just the way it was walking the way it was stood still but screaming bloody murder. They were screaming like they were being absolutely hacked to death in the middle of a field but it was just stood still and then it was walking all weird. I just can't get over that video that's probably one of the best videos that I've ever found and I would really love to know what you think about it. All right, we'll move on to the next ones. Okay, 
Okay, so at first, when I first saw that video, I thought, oh, it just looks like a deer pe peeking its head up, and then it ran towards the camera, and I was lay on the sofa just watching videos, and it was definitely a jump scare moment for me. I have watched these videos because I had to find them myself, and I didn't want to have time wasting videos where they're just not very good, so I have already seen them, and when I first saw it, it gave me a little bit of a jump scare. Again, I had to mute it because of copyright, but it was that tiptoe through the window song, if you know what I mean. Um, but what do you think about that one? I've never seen that video before and I'm surprised that it's not more out there on the internet. I always get like shivers when I do these videos. The reason why I put off doing more of these videos is because it scares me so much and the comments that you leave scare me even more. Okay, again, I had to mute it, but it was just that tiptoe through the window song again. Like, there was some videos similar to that that I'd seen, and you could tell it was CGI or it was just fake. That one looks real. Um, can you imagine driving down the road and you just see that? It's just chilling. I would cry. Yes, I would. I would cry and then I'd never sleep again. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Terrifying. I think it's even worse when you don't put put yourself in that position. You know how sometimes ghost hunters will put themselves in a position to see ghosts and then they get really, really scared even though they went looking for them. Imagine if you're just not looking for S walkers and then you just see that. Not a bit of me. There's a man down there literally staring at me filming right now and I wanna cry because A, I'm doing a scary video and B, he's just, look, oh, there's another guy as well. Oh, this is the only thing about the apartment. The windows are absolutely huge. There's nowhere I can hide. Like, the whole street can see me right now. Love that. Let's just move on to the next one. Uh, baby. Huh? Is that a person? No, it's an evil identity. It's evil entity. This thing's, like, wicked looking. But I, it's a, a human form, though. You gotta wait until you see the video. I got it on video. Okay, so that's that one. Then men are still staring at me. I don't understand, just before we speak about that, why didn't the apartment building, like, tint the windows so that I could see outside but no one else could see inside? Because in this room and in the bedroom, the window is huge. I just don't understand why they wouldn't tint it so then no one can see into me because there's just no privacy at all. But that is that video. Basically, I think some guy had just got his camera... I don't know if my... I don't know if it was security cameras or if he was trying to catch an S walker, but he caught some sort of strange creature at the back. I know the video is pretty dark. I was really worried when I first watched it that it was going to be a jump scare because I was not ready for another jump scare after the other one. But what are your thoughts? I just can't imagine being these people just chilling and like catching stuff like that on camera. I would just want to leave. I would just want to move out. Not a bit of me. It's not a bit of me. <laughs> For some reason that one gives me zombie vibes, like it reminds me of The Walking Dead or something. Part of me thinks that it's not real, I feel like it's people just playing a prank. I think that they could have either just done those screams themselves or had a like video and just be playing it out of a speaker, I don't know, I don't know what it is. There's some videos that I watch where I'm just like, oh my god I just think it's real and then there's some videos where even though they seem real and they look real, I just have a inkly, sneaky little feeling that it's a prank. Maybe it's how calm the camera people are. I don't know, you'll have to let me know what you think. Do you think it was real or do you think it was a prank? Okay, the next two videos are story times. There's a three-parter and then a one-parter. So I'll play the one-parter and then we'll do the three-parter to finish the video. All right, my encounter story. A few years back, I must have been about 13, me and my mom were on a trip with our Boy Scout troop near the Appalachian Mountains like we always are. Um, wake up in the middle of the night Saturday, uh, hearing my mom calling my name. And I figure, oh, she must be going to the bathroom, needs my lantern to be able to see. So I roll over, grab my lantern, and I'm crawling out of my, about to crawl out of my tent before I realize that something sounds off that she's not calling me the way that she normally would. So I unzip my tent window to look and see what's going on. And I see this short figure standing next to a tree. Figure it's my mom waiting for me. Until it stands up on its hind legs and is about seven to eight feet tall with be red eyes staring what I could have swore was straight at me like it was looking into my soul. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't move, I was paralyzed. Eventually it left, leaving claw marks in the tree. I went back to bed thinking it was a dream, 
till I woke up the next morning, claw marks were still there. Okay, so this is the first story about the Appalachian Trails, Appalachian Forest. The second one we're gonna listen to in a minute is also about the Appalachian Forest. What's really weird to me is that I know that the Appalachian Trail has some horror stories and stuff, but I always wanted to go to it and do that. And then now I'm watching these videos and I, I'm happy that I never have because it seems to be a lot of really bad things that happen on there, which is a shame because it really does look beautiful, but now I'm really scared to go. So I don't know if I ever will. So his story, he went camping with Boy Scouts and his mom and he thought his mom was calling him and then it stood up and it was like nine feet tall. That's another thing that I've heard a lot on different TikToks is about them being like really, really tall. But can you imagine just being a little kid and you just think your mom's calling you and you look outside and there's just a big ass monster scraping the tree. That would scar you for life. I feel bad for him. God, I claim no negative energy from these videos. I never want any of this to happen to me. All right, let's go on to the last story time. I'll play all three parts and then we will talk about it. So something incredibly creepy happened to me on Monday night. So some of you have, or maybe have found yourselves on rural Appalachia TikTok, which has made me once again reaffirm that I never want to go camping, ever. So this past week, my husband and I and our daughter went to New Hampshire from down south to go and visit my in-laws. If you're from New Hampshire, you might know that most houses in New Hampshire don't have air conditioning. So it's late at night, the windows are open, and my in-laws live in the area of New Hampshire that is at the tail end of the Appalachian Mountain chain near the lakes. So my daughter was already asleep, it's about 11 o'clock at night, the windows are open, and their house backs up to the woods on top of this really tall hill, kind of like a, not really a mini mountain, but it's a pretty tall hill. So my husband's on his phone, I'm on my phone, it's not really loud when I hear my daughter call my name from outside the house. Okay, so picking up from where I left off, my daughter calls my name from outside the house. It's this little voice, her little sweet little voice, and it says, Mommy, Mommy. Now, if you have a child or if you ever cared for someone, like a little person or even a pet or an animal that's really young, you will know that it will wake you up in the middle of the night if they even make a peep. So for me, even though I was scrolling through TikTok on my phone, I heard her call my name and I heard her say my name twice. She called for me twice. Y'all, I jumped off that couch because I was like, what the hell is my child doing outside? So I run to the window and I look out and there's nothing there. So I sit down and I think, okay, maybe I'm crazy. But then it happens again and my husband hears it this time. So both of us jump up, he's looking out the windows and I go down the stairs to start checking the doors. I'm turning on the lights at my in-law's house, I'm looking out the window, I'm trying to figure out how my kid got outside. So after looking outside all the doors, there was nothing outside, couldn't see my daughter, but of course mommy's senses are going off because she called my name, she needs me, right? So I go up the stairs, this is like a split level house, and I go up the stairs to the living areas and she's asleep. So what is in the woods calling my name? I can tell you now, I had the biggest goosebumps over this. I did not sleep. Um, I kept hearing something in the woods outside the house all night, kind of like stomping around, moving around. And I thought to myself, I know porcupines can sometimes make like a really squealy noise. So maybe it's just a porcupine because I've seen them out there before. But at the same time, whatever it was, very distinctly called my name. All I know is there was no way in hell I was going in those woods. All right, so that's the last little story time. And if you've been subscribed to me for a while or you keep on track with my community posts on here on YouTube, you will know that a few weeks ago I had a very similar experience. And I know a lot of people say you can't have S walkers in other countries and I get that. I still wanna give an account of my experience in case you haven't seen my community post, but I was in the bathroom and it was late at night and I heard my dad call my name twice. And then afterwards, when I'd finished in the bathroom, I went in his room and I was like, how come you called me, what's wrong, whatever. And he was like, I didn't. I have no explanation as to who was calling my name or if my dad did and he just didn't realize. I don't know, it creeped me out. So I understand what she's saying when her daughter calls a name. You don't think, oh, it's gonna be an S walker. You think 
they're in trouble or they need you or whatever. It's really creepy that it was outside the window. In the UK, the houses are made to keep you warm. They're supposed to keep the heat in. So in the summer, you sleep with the windows open. And I have to sleep with the windows open because I hate being too hot. But I always get creeped out about things like that, that either there's going to be something scary outside or something's going to get in or even a person's going to get in. So I feel like I understand her stress. Obviously, at the same time, I don't fully understand it because I've never had a child and I've also never had that exact experience. But I know how scary something like that can kind of be. But you'll have to let me know what you think. But that is the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked it just as much as the other S Walker video. I feel a lot more relaxed filming it this time, I think, because I'm, I'm used to filming Spooky Sundays now and I feel like I'm a lot better with editing. I know in the first one there was a lot of complaints about the video being really small. So now I try my best to make sure it's kind of big enough for you to see. But yeah, if if you did like it please remember to smash a massive thumbs up remember to subscribe and until next time i will see you all soon peace